Hello, I will now give a short demonstration of my Hexapod robot simulator. Uh, the robot you see here is actually loosely based on the A-Pod robot, which is a very cool Hexapod. So it kind of inspired me to build this. Uh, as you can see, it's a 3D, full 3D simulation. I can look at the robot from all kinds of angles to see what's going on. It's built in VPython, which is Python with uh, an additional very cool 3D library. It's like the window you would see is OpenGL actually. Uh, the goal of this simulation is to simulate a robot with which which moves very naturally, like it would move in real life. So, for example, I can change the height of the robot. You can see the legs actually moving really naturally. The target position of the leg stays the same. That's, uh, that's the goal of it. You can move it from left to right. Again, moves naturally. Variety is to, the f to uh, forward and backward. And also a little bit more complex movement. I can make the body rotate over the Z axis and over the X axis actually. So you can see me adding some uh, some dual axis rotation makes it feel alive a little bit. You can make it more extreme. And now you can see what's going on. You can see it moves quite naturally actually. And to finish off with the demo I will now show you the full animation. Now you suddenly see it moves up and down, left, right, to the front, to the back. And uh, it also rotates the, the body itself. And you can see the gripper actually c opening and closing. You can see the three neck joints. It's just three degrees of uh, freedom neck joint. And you can see also the tail moving. Uh, and the control algorithm behind this robot is actually uh, based on the inverse kinematics approach. I used the analytical approach. That means I will I have made a model of of the lake of the robot and uh, uh, if I give the lake a target position uh, the lake it, it itself is able to calculate the angles of each of its three actuators, the servos in the real robot and when I uh, change body height or rotate it uh, in any or translate it in any kind of direction this leads to several offsets actually to the to the to the target position of the legs and the total chain uh, results in what you see here uh, the next step will be to build this control into a, a real apod robot and uh, I'm planning to build some make some more new movies demonstration movies also with some tutorials as soon as I as soon as I am ready to show something so thank you for watching and uh, hope you've enjoyed it